What's going on, Vikings fans? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. Coming up on today's show, we're going to be discussing the possibility of Dalvin Cook returning to the Minnesota Vikings. There's a report out there, and maybe the Vikings have a contract offer sheet already on the table for the uh, uh, Pro Bowl running back to return. Second half of the today's show, Justin Jefferson won the SB for the best play. So we're kind of just going down memory lane, looking at some photos, looking at the stats from that game, because that should have been game of the year as well. And just the overall play that Jefferson made, fourth and 18, one-handed. It was my favorite play out of Probably Vikings history, if we're being honest. But that's what's coming up on today's show. But guys, make sure you lock us in as your go-to Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel channel here. Anytime there's Vikings news or rumors, I want us to be your go-to Vikings channel. I know Purple for the win, Score North, Purple Daily, they all do good work as well. But I want us to be your go-to channel here on YouTube. So lock us in and hit that sub button. But talking about bringing back Dalvin Cook, you know, we, uh, you know, you always obviously think when a player gets cut, the return possibility is most likely dead. I mean, 99% of the time, that is the case. But the report did come out from Boomer Isison saying that the Vikings have a $7 million per year deal on the table for Dalvin Cook. And I will uh, kind of pat myself on the back here a little bit. I predicted this about a month ago. I think when the Vikings cut Cook, I think they said, hey, you go test the market, see what other teams will offer you. But if you do want to come back, we will have a contract offer for you heading your way. I thought it was going to be $5 million, the deal that the Vikings would offer Cook for a possible return. Turns out it's 7 We all know the production for Cook has obviously fallen off the last four seasons. You know, you look at the numbers just on face value, you're like, damn, this dude's ran for over 1,000 yards the past three years. He's still got it, but it's yards per carry dropping all the way down for 4.4. He's still a tremendous running back. Like I still think he's got top 15, top maybe 12 ability. It's just he's not the same guy that he was in that 2020 season. Like I said it during that year. When Dalvin was fully healthy, he was the guy that I wanted in the backfield compared to any other running back in the NFL. Like Derrick Henry's great. Christian McCaffrey was great. But Dalvin during that 2020 season, 300 carries, just under 1,600 yards and five yards per clip. He was fantastic. Also has that dual threat ability. But we know the three teams that have been linked to Dalvin the most being all from the AFC East. It's the Patriots, Dolphins, and Jets. They have always kind of been in this kind of battle to try and lock up the star running back, and they all make sense. Obviously, New England would like some more juice in that backfield area to give Mac Jones a little more help. We all know that Miami, you know, Cook to Miami, that's been the craze over, you know, Dolphins Twitter and Vikings Twitter, just because obviously Miami being Dalvin's hometown. And then the Jets, maybe he wants to go team up with A-Rodge and make an elusive backfield of him and Brees Hall. But these are the three main teams that have been interested in uh, Dalvin Cook. But going back to him possibly go returning to the Vikings, Kirk Cousins had a very, very interesting and almost a little cryptic uh, quote here on the star running back. He said this at, uh, it was actually at Vikings uh, minicamp uh, about a month ago, and he said, wanted to take the time to acknowledge the respect I have for him as a player and a person. The difference he's made for our team, his toughness, his consistency, I think he's been through four straight pull bowls. That says it all right there. I'm excited to see where he goes. I'll always be pulling for him, and I'm kind of optimistically hoping maybe we get him back. I'll repeat that. He says, I'm kind of optimistically hoping maybe we get him back. Who knows? Maybe there is an outside chance. We will see. And I think that quote speaks volumes because Kurt did not need to say that by any means. And he just dropped that bomb that he is optimistically hoping that Dalvin Cook returns. I'll have more thoughts on this in a second. But the deal that is on the table for Dalvin Cook is $7 million per year. Would you bring Dalvin Cook back for that average annual salary? This would be the pinned comment on today's video. So YouTube, throw an ad break your way. Sit back, let it play, and give me a Y for yes or an N for no if you would bring Dalvin Cook back for $7 million per year. I'm torn. Like, I love Dalvin as a person. Off the field, even as a football player, he is still great. You know, make that one cut, get up field. He's great in that outside zone running scheme. But I'm torn. Like, do the Vikings really want to put, you know, more ammunition and more capital into that running back position? You know, we did just move off him, so we kind of saved cap space there. But then you would automatically just be putting the $7 because I think the Vikings saved 8.2. So we'd just be putting $7, mil of it, seven million of it right back into him. Maybe it's a one-year prove-it deal. I'm all in. But if it's like a two-, three-year deal, which the reports have came out that Dalvin wants... I'm probably out of him. So I'm kind of torn. So that's why I'm also curious to see what you guys have to say. But I also do, uh, or I guess I don't think Dalvin Cook wants to come back. Um, 
I think Dalvin has honestly felt a little disrespected by the Vikings throughout this whole process. Um, I think he expected them to say, hey, Dalvin, we're going to extend you. You're our guy. You're part of this franchise for the near future. And obviously when you get cut by the team that you have done so much for in the past couple of seasons, I think it obviously you know leaves a little uh, bad blood there. But this is actually Dalvin Cook, what he was uh, saying about his whole free agent process. He says, I think at every level I made the right choice. When I had the choice to go play ball, the process is fun. You embrace it. If you don't want to be wanted by people, then something's wrong. As long as people want me, I'm good. I know I'm in the right spot. I think that was interesting speaking about the Vikings. But he continued to say, but going through this process has been fun. It's been different every day. Waking up with a different schedule, just enjoying it. I think when it comes down to it, I just make the right decision. I've been doing it my whole life. And I wish nothing but the best for Dalvin Cook. Like, you know, I think a lot of uh, times if it's NFL fans and just being Vikings fans, like we get caught up too much and just only on the field production, that these guys are just athletes. That's all they are as people. But, I mean, you got to think about it from his perspective. Like he was drafted by this team um, back in, uh, you know, 2017, I believe, after five seasons, and he pretty much did everything he wanted for this team, and he was great for him. I mean, he was on the production side, locker room guy, off the field. Like, he was great for the city of Minneapolis as well. So I wish nothing but the best for Dalvin. He's obviously kind of going through a lot right now. He's a free agent. This is kind of like when you just break up with your girlfriend and you're on the market for the first time. You see all the great options out there. That's what Dalvin's going through. So I do think it's a pretty cool moment for him, but I also wish nothing but the best. But our man Justin Jefferson last night won an ESPY for the best play out of all major sports. It was the 4th and 18 one-handed catch against the Buffalo Bills. In my opinion, in my favorite game uh, watching, or uh, my favorite game uh, as a Vikings fan as being a viewer, it was absolutely insane. And the 4th and 18 play was the most iconic play from that game. But this is what Ju Justin Jefferson said about the catch at the ESPYs. He said, just the way my body went up, him catching the ball in his hands and me taking it from him. The whole play was crazy. But it starts with the O-line, with the blocking, giving Kirk enough time to get me that opportunity to go up and make a play. But it's not just me. This is a collective team win, and that's pretty cool, man. I mean, that's just uh, Jefferson being the team guy he is, and I truly will never forget this play. I mean, going into this game, going into Buffalo, the Vikings were on a seven-game win streak last year, and this was kind of like, you know, are you frauds or are you for real game? Turns out the Vikings end up being frauds either way. But this was a game and a play that I will never forget, and Kirk Cousins actually had something interesting. He said in that huddle before that play on 4th and 18, actually on the new quarterback series on Netflix. So if you guys haven't seen that, you got to check it out. Uh, I'm probably going to be grinding that whole thing tonight. But he said in that huddle, he turned to Jefferson and said, I am throwing this ball up to you. Like he just pretty much put it out on the table right there. That's what he did. And that's why you see Jefferson, he went up and he nabbed it. But in that game versus Buffalo, I mean, man, he was fantastic. I mean, this was, uh, you know, some of the times, like these stat lines that Jefferson put up last season, I just think they get, you know, I just think they get undervalued. And, you know, Trace in my ear talking about the Minneapolis Miracle, a better play, probably skill-wise, the Jefferson catch is a better play, but obviously impact, the Miracle was obviously insane. It happened in the playoffs. But, I mean, just look at Jefferson's body on screen right now. He is literally horizontal, and he's five feet up in the air. But that game, he went for 193 yards, 19.3 yards per catch, and it just seems like Jefferson puts up these stat lines, and we just kind of take them for granted. I mean, receivers would be lucky to hit 193 yards in two games, and he did it in one multiple times throughout the season. But overall, I'm all in on you know Jefferson being the face of the franchise for this team. I love him. One of my favorite players to, you know, out of any major four sports that I watch and I cover. So Jefferson, shout out to you. Congrats on winning your SB. Hell of a play, hell of a season from number 18. And let's show him some love. Let's show the best wide receiver in the NFL some love by typing 18 down in the comment section. I just can't wait to see him play football again next season. Like, he's fun. You know, whenever he's doing the gritty and all that, like, I can't wait to see it going. So, shout out to Jefferson. Congrats on your SB as well. But, guys, make sure you guys give me a follow on Twitter. Up in my Twitter game a little bit here. Going to be tweeting about the Vikings all up until training camp here in, a, you know, a couple of weeks. So, we're going to be ramping up our coverage here at Chat Sports. So, follow me on Twitter. Stay in the loop. See you guys next time. Skull Vikes.